Good morning, Dr. Kelton. Good morning, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are you? Spectacular. Another beautiful day in the universe. It absolutely is. We're getting another dose of winter, yeah. but it's welcomed. <laughs> it is. It is. I know. We've gone from uh, no snow to snow to no snow, and snow's back again. It's all good. Absolutely. We live in upstate New York. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, absolutely, it is. So what, we were talking a little bit about uh, keto and, and ovarian reserve yes. and, and priming and who gets what and when and how and absolutely. PCOS. And it's a big puzzle. It, it is, it, and especially clients who are ready to get going and right into their cycle and want to have their retrieval in a week or two. Um, so we often get questions from clients, well, why do I have to start my diet a few months early? Why do we have to maybe start medications a month before I'm really going to have my retrieval or really get started? So maybe we could clarify some of those questions. Well, priming and prepping is the key for all of yeah. us in anything we do, and uh one of the things that I'm finding is that uh, one, um, uh, eggs and sperm both are in an environment that's pretty toxic for most yes. of us because um, we're stressed mm -hmm. uh, and we're eating a very high uh, carb diet yes. uh, and low in fats. Um, and then we're not taking all the supplements mm -hmm. that may be important. And we've just kind of recently found uh, about human growth hormone yes. and how HGH may help improve egg quality. And it may be three to six months that's the most important yes. for all this priming preparation. But uh, 30 days is kind of a nice, mm -hmm. easy start. I only have to wait a month to do yes. this. And in fact, it's like a cleanse, uh, changing the oil in your body and even changing the fuel in 30 days is, or less is all it takes. So we've been really recommending the ketogenic diet, yes. which is 80% fat. 15% uh, protein and 5% carbs, really finding how important this is. And yes. it's natural fats, Absolutely. fish fats, pork fats, beef fats, butter fats, mm -hmm. really helpful. And if you read Maria Emmerich's book on keto adapted and uh, ketogenic diet, yes. and if you check out Gary Tobbs' Why We Get Fat, really great resources on the food side. Supplement side, I've been recommending, okay, fish oil, folic yes. acid, vitamin D, CoQ10. Uh, I think that kind of uh, mm -hmm. hits the majority of it. Yes. Some people adding DHEA uh, for diminished ovarian reserve, mm -hmm. if you're not PCO or metabolic syndrome, yeah. may actually uh, be good also. But mine is fats first. Yes. And then the other is meditation, reading yoga, slow it down. Yes. And so by priming with the simple holistic things, natural, mm -hmm. and then for some people with diminished ovarian reserve, diminished egg quality or egg numbers, adding 30 days of human growth hormone mm -hmm. and at a recent uh, ASRM meeting in uh, Baltimore, uh, met with a colleague from Spain and been doing that, having a lot better numbers, and we've been finding significant improvement by doing the 30-day estrogen HGH prime mm -hmm. with the keto prime and really we want to change our bodies yes. by giving it enough time to affect our eggs and our mm -hmm. sperm. We haven't been using the HGH uh, on men yet. Yes. Might be another issue to look at but definitely men go keto. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the amazing amazing food plan. And We've also done a little bit shorter prime, a seven-day prime. That's our old way. We mm -hmm. believe the 30-day prime is really the key. Yes. And, and if you're not doing any prime, we've been absolutely with STEM recommending HGH mm -hmm. uh, along with the mixed protocol, adding a little bit of LH either in the form, form of Menopure yes. or HCG low dose. Interesting. And, and, uh, and then we've also been really talking a lot about freeze all cycles yes. where you taking those embryos either in the blast stage or the cleavage stage and freezing them because the uterine lining and the embryos are out of sync and waiting until the next cycle where we have a either a natural preparation or simply stimulating with either clomid letrozole yeah. or estrogen and then progesterone we really feel that we're getting a really mm -hmm. great preparation of the body, the egg, the sperm, the embryo, and significantly improving outcomes by doing that. Very interesting. It, 
And I think it might be challenging for our clients to say, well, I waited so long, but really we want to get our focus back to having the healthiest most relaxed and really most efficient body for those embryos and for that child to grow in. And so we want to really prepare ourselves to be ready for that pregnancy because it's a marathon. Pregnancy yeah. really is. And it, it takes a, it's very taxing, very energy taxing, and it's a wonderful time. But we also want to go into it as healthy as we can be. And what I'm finding, which is wonderful, is many clients I've encountered will say, I don't want to do another diet. I've tried a million diets. I hate dieting. But with this keto diet, clients are loving it because the food is delicious. It's completely satiating. You're never hungry. And one client shared the other day in our Facebook support group that she couldn't believe how great coffee tasted in the morning with grass-fed butter. And then she put a dollop of whipped, heavy whipping cream on top, and she said, it's the greatest treat, and I can't believe I can have this. It, it, <laughs> it, is, it is amazing, and I'm, uh, I'm, I've shifted over the last year, mm -hmm. and... Fertile, fatty foods first is yes. really such an amazing thing. And we're having so many of our couples, individuals, mm -hmm. texting us and emailing us yes. and sharing their stories that they have a keto baby. Absolutely. And I'm amazed, and I've been talking to people around the world, and I'm like, whoa, what is this? And the yeah. more I dig into it, the more I practice it. I'll be 60 in a couple of weeks, and I haven't exercised in five years. Mm -hmm. I feel healthier than I've ever yes. felt. And it's just an amazing concept that we have been led in a way that hasn't been good for us. Mm -hmm. And you don't need to diet. Don't diet. Get off dieting. Mm -hmm. Get off watching your calories and yes. your food. But really go to natural, mm -hmm. natural uh, uh, fish and, and, and meat and pork. Uh, and add the avocados and yeah. the coconut oil and the and the nuts that you crack from a shell because yeah. that's the that's where they're 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 the best protected. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been reading a a, a, a new book, uh, Eat the Eat the Yolks, mm -hmm. uh, and I really recommend it. Yeah. And uh, there's just so many books out there, and as I read them, I'm like, whoa, I didn't get any of this, and now I'm getting it. And most of us doctors and dietitians and in the health industry actually have it all wrong, yeah. and I'm surprised. So how do you prepare yourself for anything? Well, begin reading. Yes. Begin talking to your friends and people that have gone through this, and we have a huge support group at Absolutely. CMY Fertility. Uh, we highly recommend it. Share your stories. Mm -hmm. uh, share your frustrations. Mm -hmm. The more we speak about it and journaling critical, uh, it it it's relieves the stress. It does, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I know this clarifies many of the questions our clients had. And as we keep growing and sharing more and sharing more recipes and some more diet plans to help our clients make that transition into keto and really enjoy all the wonderful energy that comes from it. So thank you very much. Keto food plan, critical, and the 30-day prime, it's rock on. Absolutely. So God bless everyone. Enjoy. Have a great week.